is also quite the beer lover. He's driving innovation around the globe by continuously exploring new capabilities in the newest technologies to stay ahead of the curve. These new capabilities are providing them with unprecedented insight into the needs of their consumers, helping to create completely new experiences. On the menu today, the digital transformation in the food and beverage industry. Please welcome Peter Roiland from AB InBev. from the lovely beers we have. I hope you all tasted some uh, Stella, uh, Triple Carmelita, I also saw, and Quack. But actually, we want to also become a technology company. We want to lead the technology transformation in our industry. And when I was sitting in, in your chairs, pay attention, I don't fall, there were two companies that made the top 10 list of the world's largest companies for market capitalization. Does anybody care to guess in which year that was? I'm not that old, but and I, I mean when I was sitting in a chair as a student. Anyone? 1990, no? No, it's actually 1998, and it was Microsoft and Intel. Now, if you fast forward to today, how many tech companies today are in that top 10 list? Does anybody care to guess? Eight. I heard eight. It's eight companies. And actually, Google was founded in the same year that I was sitting in your chair. Facebook, now Meta, was founded in 2004. Two years before I joined AB InBev. I had a prior career before I joined AB InBev. And what keeps me up at night is that Facebook generated, in the time that I spent my professional life at AB InBev, generated four times the market cap of AB InBev. That's what keeps me up at night. Because in the end, they do what we do. They bring people together virtually, we have digital uh, fashions. We do it as much as possible in bars. That's what keeps me up at night. But uh, the interesting thing is, you don't necessarily have to be a big company in order to leverage technology to your advantage. A good example of this one is Domino's Pizza. I guess everyone knows what Domino's Pizza is. Not the best pizza, but okay. That's my opinion. And. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, apparently not everybody shares your opinion. Yeah, yeah, apparently. That's okay, that's okay. Um, so what they did in uh, 2008, when it was a year of the financial crisis, they took a turn and they decided to go for uh, digital transformation. What did it mean for Domino's Pizza? Well, they uh, developed tools so their customers could order pizza digitally. They even went a step further and in certain cities, they did a full automated delivery of pizzas at people's homes and they used all the analytics they could get to improve their business. And I think this chart doesn't lie and we can all agree that if we would have invested in Domino's Pizza 
in the year of 2008, we would have had a tremendous payback of that investment. So just a little example to be smart with technology. And you know, Sarah, what goes really, really well with pizza? A freshly poured chocolate. So All agreed? Yeah. Maybe but, on that one, yes? Yeah, that was a marketing team asking to sneak us in. So. <laughs> All right, so now back to ABI. Yes, we want to give two examples of technologies where we're implementing. The first one is B2B. And this is all about creating a digital interaction between AB and Bev and, for example, a customer, I'll call it here the bar. Here we're trying to digitalize as much as possible the interactions we have with, with the bars. That's what we call B2B. The second thing we're going to talk about is B2B2C. And this is all about solving consumer pain points. And once this person, he or she, is, for example, at a bar, how can we resolve those consumer pain points? Now let's first talk about B2B. Yes. So B2B, I think the process is quite clear, but to summarize it again, it's a bar or a restaurant that needs to buy beverages from a supplier, which is then, for example, ABI. So that is B2B. And what we have, we have a digital tool to facilitate this order process, which we call globally Bees. Bees is the brand for our B2B solution. But we're not only talking about order taking. As you can see here, as a customer from ABI, I can go into the app, order my beverages, but I also get personalized recommendations, promotions, and even rewards for ordering with us. And that's not all. We go beyond the ordering part. We really want to be a partner of our restaurants, of the bars, and help them to grow their business through insights, through other uh, recommendations we can make them based on uh, analytics. We even give, in some markets, the opportunities to compare your performances against those of a competitor in your neighborhood. And this platform is live in 16 countries. We're just about to go live in Europe. We have a local B2B platform, but we're switching it to Bees. And the global platform has around 2.3 million active users, generating 1.6 million orders per week. And yesterday, I had a call with my, my global colleagues asking them how many minutes uh, per day are people spent, or our users spend on the platform. And they actually spend 30 minutes on a platform, looking at the, the latest promotions, looking at the products that they order. Again, this is time that we originally had, for example, a sales rep spending in the field that is now being fully transacted by the digital interaction between our customer and the solution. Now, what's also super exciting is that we've generated $25 billion in GMV, or gross merchandise value. And that actually puts us in the top 10 e-commerce marketplaces globally. So you would never think of a brewer being part of that list. Well, we actually are. Of course, Amazon is at the very enviable number one place, and they're in the B2C space. But in the B2B space, we're conquering that place. We want to become the Amazon of the interaction between ABI and our customers. Now let's talk about B2B2C. So B2B2C, as a reminder, is all about once we have that consumer sitting in a bar, how can we engage with that consumer, resolve his or her pain points? Yes. So to explain you the concept of B2B2C, I want to take you on a trip down memory lane. And I say memory lane and not your imagination, because I'm quite certain that you have experienced this situation already in the past. So imagine you're at a bar with your friends, your family, it's quite crowded, you're sitting at a table and you have lots to discuss. It's been a while since you've seen each other and there's so many topics you want to address. But first things first, let's order some beers. So you're waiting for the waiter to come over. No one seems to come to your table. It's okay, let's maybe put your hand up and see if you can uh, announce someone. But uh, still not working, maybe an awkward wave. It's getting a bit long now, but then eventually someone comes to your table and takes your order. Great. A few minutes later, they come back with the drinks and what you see, it's not exactly what you ordered. That doesn't seem like the best experience you had, right? 
And unfortunately, you're not the only one that had it. It's actually a real consumer pain point. Our insights team discovered this. But wherever there is a pain point, there is also an opportunity. So what we want to do as a brewery with our B2B2C product is tackle that exact pain point. We know that humans are social creatures. We want to go to the bar. We want to meet our family and friends. And we want to make sure that the experience is as seamless and even rewarding as possible. So to explain how we exactly do that with our B's consumer products, we will, we will show in a little video. Online trends have massively affected the way people interact. Everyone spends less time sharing quality real life moments. Wouldn't it be great to see each other and really make it count? For a long time, our purpose has been bringing people together and where better than in the bar. Bees introduces a digital solution that helps everyone share quality moments when going out. How? Easy. Bees makes life simple in the bar or venue. We offer a seamless digital order and pay experience without needing paper menus or any queuing in the bar. Now you can focus on spending more time with people in your life that matter and you can finally relax and enjoy the hospitality service provided. With Bees, you can scan a QR code and immediately see the venue's food and drink menus. Get promotions and offers that are only available with Bees. Enjoy seamless ordering at your pace. Still want to chat to bar staff? No problem. The bar staff are still available to help you with recommendations and suggestions. Do you want maximum convenience? You've got it. Pay digitally right after placing your order all in one place. That's not all. Bees has more fun to come. Collect points for each purchase and exchange them for rewards. The rewards are designed to satisfy everyone. You can win tickets to music festivals, football events, discount vouchers and free drinks. You've got it all with Bees. Going out with friends might be equally enjoyable and complicated. It's a familiar situation when you pay for drinks in a group and then need to remind everyone to pay you back. Yeah, pretty awkward. With Bees, you can create a group digital wallet where everybody contributes an agreed amount and gets rounds of drinks with just a few clicks. It's fast and easy to refill again with Bees. As a group, you also earn points unlocking group rewards. This is just the start. We're always updating with new offers to keep bees ahead of the game. Look forward to sharing many great moments in a bar, powered by bees. insight it was actually during the pandemic and I'll be very fair we were not used to build consumer products so we like a lot of my products we're now doing it in an agile fashion and uh, we, we took an existing product we had which was the Jupiter app I don't know if some of you use it but it was geared towards soccer fans where they could watch the scores of their favorite teams and you've got a lot of soccer news this was the only app we had in the Belgian market because we wanted to to pilot this in Belgium. So we added some of the capabilities you saw there, like uh, menu browsing, uh, ordering, uh, being able to pay online and, and get promotions. And the idea, truly in the Agile spirit, was to go fast and learn fast. Something, you know, it, it, was, it was out of the ordinary for us. We piloted this and uh, with some success and some, uh, some um, negative feedback as well, but we learned three things. First was that the brand that we had there, Jupiter, people did not want to have that product because it also allowed to order non uh, or other products, so not only ABI products, of course. 
but they didn't want it to be associated with, with Jupyter. Second thing is we had built um, a native app because this was an existing uh, product uh, and people wanted a web-based app so it was easier not to download uh, the apps. And third thing we learned is that our customers, so the bars, they wanted this to be integrated with their back office Horeca systems, or typically the POS systems, uh, uh, cash registers where you see the incoming orders. The other thing, uh, with those learnings, we quickly set about at um, creating the, the new product, iteratively um, getting feedback, continuous feedback from consumers, from customers. We did listening sessions, and that's how we came up with the new Beast Consumer product. Yes, indeed. So, if you want, if you don't have your smartphone yet in your hands, take it out of your pockets and scan the QR code on the screen. We're happy to invite you into the test environment of our Beast B2B2C products. You can see it's fairly easy. You can browse for products, you can order. Don't worry about the bill, it's just a test environment. No real payments will be required. All right, oh, sorry, I think now there are still people uh, catching uh, the QR code. All right, thanks. So, browsing menu, ordering, paying online, but the interesting feature that you already saw in the video, we believe that will provide stickiness to the app is the loyalty. Not only rewards and loyalty for you as an individual, but for groups. We believe we have a winning formula there to create the stickiness into the app, get people outside, make sure they go to our bars, uh, and, and have fun. Now, in May, we're also launching a new set of promotions. Yes, so we have reached a very important milestone each in our project. And as from the 1st of May, you can go to your favorite bar if they are subscribed to Bees. And when scanning the menu, you will be able to order a 2 plus 1 Jupiler or 2 plus 1 Stella Artois for free. So you will see the menu is practically helping you to get that free product. It's guiding you to put just enough items in your basket. And then after checking out, there's nothing left for you to do but to enjoy the freshly poured Stella Artois. All right, now I hope you all left with the exciting idea that we're not just a beer company. We want to play in the technology space. And although Bees is great, yes, and we just showed two examples, we're doing so much more in the technology space. We're looking at last mile delivery solutions. We're looking at automating more our back office processes. We're looking at 5G, which by the way I saw was connected here on 5G, and IoT products for our breweries. How can we connect the machines? How can we automate that? How we can move to much more automated breweries? And this, if you don't believe us, please, we invite you to come to our offices in Leuven over a beer, and we'll excite you with the tons of opportunities we have in technology. All right, that was it. Um, thank you very much. Thank you, Sarah.